Hello Shed family. How are we doing today? We just got a Quaker coop on the lot. Um, this has been our most popular chicken coop model. So I figured I would put a video up about this one. This one is a 10 by 16 Quaker coop. It's barn red with white trim and a 30 year metal roof in white. You can see that unique roof pitch, almost like a salt box style roof with the overhang. So that's the 10 foot width. And this is obviously 16 foot width. We'll squeeze through. This is also a chicken coop. This one's a 10 by 20, I believe. So you can see this LP siding, composite wood, it's beautiful, it's a nice red tone. So you have three by three windows in this one, three of them. All right, we'll get over all this outside stuff in a minute. Let's head in on inside. First, I want to show you this magnet right here that attaches to here for ventilation purposes. So there you go. As you can see, that gives you that secondary door, which you can use on beautiful days like today to let a breeze in there, air it out a little bit. Let's take a look inside, guys. Okay, now uh, you're probably going to see insulation on that side of the LP siding. Um, masking boxes right here. And you've got your roost bar right here, which has been put up because they transported it. This is, as you can see, a great way to clean the flooring. And guys, this is a 25 year epoxy flooring. This is heavy duty stuff. Okay, this is meant to be power washed, hose down, get it out, keep it clean. All right, so let's set this down. You can see it's convenient for transport, but it's also very convenient for cleaning. Uh, excuse me, guys. So. I forgot I was even doing a video. I'm just kind of taking in this coop. So you got the upgraded three by three windows here, which are really nice. They let a lot of sunlight in. Also, they open for aeration and ventilation. You've got your nesting boxes right here. So you can collect from the outside. You've got your exterior chicken coop door. And you can see again, like I said, the epoxy flooring. It's good stuff. It's gonna hold up. Um, to the abuse and the elements, which obviously, as you know, chickens, uh, animal excrement, chickens will go wherever they want. Usually, um, it's under this roosting bar during the day. If it's nice out and you let them out, they tend to be outside, but at night, chickens, poultry, birds, natural instinct is to be up, um, away from predators on the ground. So they will be on this roosting bar. You will get a mess there, but you can pull it up, clean it up, and you're good to go. So, 5744 or 265 a month. Now that is expensive, but like I've said before, it's a qual it's a lifestyle quality going out and collecting your own food, being self-sufficient. All right. So when you come out here, you will see the nesting boxes. Now, you can see that they're closed, so nothing can get in them animal-wise and take your eggs. You can also see that you can lock them open for collecting eggs. Okay, you've got eight next eight nesting boxes in total. This is where you'll put your bedding and material like that, and you'll come in and collect your eggs. All right, now that we've collected our invisible eggs, we're gonna go ahead and close this back up, and we're gonna do the same thing over here. Okay. The other nice thing about this uh, chicken coop is the chicken door. So, in the winter, 
you definitely don't want this door open. You don't want to get drafts in the coop. So what you do want open is this little bit of chicken door. So you can let them in and out. Pretty simple, I'll show you. There you go. Maybe put a freezer flap there and train them to go in and out and you have a draft free coop. More ventilation. So guys, uh, free delivery setup and leveling within 50 miles. No credit check available. I don't remember the payment, but we went over that a little bit ago. This is on the lot and available. If you're looking for a bigger size check coop, let me know. 517-753-3210. Justwoodensteel.com or justwoodensteel at gmail.com. As always, guys, I appreciate you tuning in. We've got the coop in stock. If you're the one that wants it, let me know. If you want one in a different size or a different color, we'll get it built for you. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.